Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you the ultimate ABGX360 patching tutorial. This is going to cover everything you need for this little program right here. So anyways, uh, this is going to cover stuff that I have not covered in previous videos, uh, and it will cover everything from XG2 to XGD3, SSV1, SSV2, all that good stuff. So anyways, first thing you need to do is go to abgx360.net. You want to come to download, and you want to download whatever ABGX version you need for your operating system. So I have Windows. Now download the installer, but let's go ahead, open up hot file, and you go to regular download, and then you just wait 15 seconds, and you're good to go. So you download that, install it with the default settings, you should be okay. Now there's all these video archives and all that the video ISOs these are good if you are ripping with WX Ripper and if you're ripping your XGD2 games like that I mean it's still fine to do it with XGD2 games however they don't have uh, the software doesn't come bundled with these video files so you are going to have to download them and then patch them in and put them into your ABGX uh, directory and there's these stealth files archives uh, you really don't need those unless you're going to be patching offline but I'm always online when I patch so anyways once you have that figured out uh, this is what you're going to need to do and also one more thing if you do want to download any of these video archives come to extra bit here and this is a question everyone had you don't have to buy any of this stuff you come down here and where it says I have no money I want download for free you click that and then you wait 30 seconds and you can download so anyways let's go ahead and get out of there so what you want to do once you have your ABGX open go ahead open it up and you want all these settings to be the same okay these are going to be for XG2 and XGD3 games it doesn't matter but this is what you want to do on options you want to have check create DVD file check stealth verify if stealth passes check fix video padding use colors uh, keep this on high verbosity and sorry my voice is being a little wonky with me uh, check for any DVD style game data corruption now this takes a few minutes but it is worth it check for updates and check game partition CRC when needed and then right here on manually patch check the first two patch even if stealth passes and patch even if these files are invalid I'm going to show you how to use all this stuff don't worry for auto fix select level 3 auto fix trust SSV2 angles Fix CR table if data is invalid and adjust angles and three degrees for all that. For rebuilding, keep it on default. And for miscellaneous, check your console's region code. So I live in the US, so I have NTSCU. Now a common misconception is this will not make your games region free. This only verifies. You cannot make an ISO region free. Now your preferred language, go ahead, pick your preferred language. I speak English, so I'm going to pick that. Split vid, select add if it doesn't exist or isn't valid. Ex for images, extract images. And for an extra command line, this is for your XGD2 games, you want to do dash dash PL0. That's going to patch the video layer 0 just two zeros. Uh, you just want that because it will bring up an error and it's kind of annoying It's just huge if you get it every time so you don't have to worry about that and just zeros that layer out. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways once you're done with that you want to come to file, save settings and have default and hit OK. You should be good to go. Now let's go ahead and patch a game. So I'm going to select my Call of Duty 4 that I already have. So I have Call of Duty 4 right here. Now go ahead hit launch and I'm going to show you how you can read all this stuff. So I'm just going to hit Q right here because as you can see it, it's doing the checking game CRC and it takes a few minutes to do but I've already checked it and I know that it's clean so it says all stealth CRCs check and then the game CRC was skipped. Um, yeah that's pretty much it so anyways this is what you need to look for. You want everything to be blue and green that's what you want so as you can see my DVD file there is fine the padding is okay there. Uh, region free this is the regions that we're talking about here now when we get down here this is one thing you're gonna need to know uh, there's SSV1 and SSV2 now when it says checking SS right here it's gonna tell you the version now there's version 1 okay now if you do want to be playing online or even if you just play offline it's good to have to be the most secure you want to have SSV2 on your games so I'm going to show you how to patch that and even though it still looks green, it's highly recommended you use SSV2 for any game. XGD3 games already have SSV2 patches put into them, but there are still many XGD2 games that have SSV1 out there. So as you can see, 
Uh, both these layers have been zero padded, basic stealth is passing, and then everything matches down here. So everything's good, but I want that SSV1 to be SSV2. That means security sector for anyone that doesn't know. So let's just go ahead and X'd out of that. Now this is what you want to do. You want to come back to ABGX360, go to Verified now, and let's look up our game. So this will be Call of Duty 4. And right here, there are three versions. There's two PAL versions and a region free version. The region free version is the one I have. What you want to do is you want to click the little number here at the end. So click that. And then there's several versions. Now sometimes you might have to play around with which one is which, but you just pick a version and then you need to download both these SS and DMI files. So I'm just going to pick the first one here, select that, and what we're going to do is just we're going to save it. So to make this easy, just go ahead and save it to your Call of Duty 4 directory or whatever game you're going to be patching. I'm assuming it's not going to be the same game. But when those are done downloading, they're 2 kilobytes each. What you want to do is come back to ABGX with that ISO loaded. Go to Options. Uncheck Verify if Stealth Passes. But do not save any of these settings. Uncheck this. Now go to Manually Patch. Check Patch DMI and Patch SS. Now what you want to do is select each one. So your DMI, you pick your DMI. Your SS, you pick your SS. You hit launch. And then right here, I just hit Q to skip that. But as you can see, let's go ahead and reread it. Up here, we have our original patches, our SSV1 patch and all that stuff. Now come down here, and it patched it with SSV2. And as you can see, it says trusted. So that's the important part. And our DMI has been patched as well. So what you want to do here is now just go ahead, press any key to exit. Now over here, uncheck patch DMI, uncheck patch SS, check verify stealth passes again, and launch. And we're just going to quit this one more time. But what you want to do is you can see that everything's green, but now our game has SSV2 on it. So that's what we're looking for. If your game now has all that, you should be good to go. Now, what I'm going to be doing is, since we're done with XGD2, I'm going to be covering how to patch your XGD3 games. But if you have an XGD2 game, everything is green and blue, and you have SSV2, you should be secure. Alright, one thing you all should know is something about topology data. Now, topology data is needed if you have Light Touch 3 on a BenQ or Light On drive. Now, there are a few AP 2.5 titles. Um, this is also anti-piracy 2.5 that are on XGD2 games. Now I'm going to be showing you all how you can patch those games as well. Now this is one of the games that has AP 2.5 data on it and is a XGD2 game. This is Fable 3 and there are five other games out there. You really don't need to know which ones, just run them through ABGX and you'll be good to go. But I'll go ahead and launch this. So as you can see it's just doing everything on here and I just re-ripped this recently but I'm just going to let it scan through on everything and then I will let it quit and I'll explain everything to you all right here. But as you can see this is how it is, it's just checking all the video CRCs and everything so we can go ahead and quit that. But up here you're going to notice something, it's going to say topology data is currently verified. If your game requires topology data, then it will patch it automatically. So these are for the XGD2 games. Besides that, everything else is the same. You have to make sure you have SSV2 on here, especially if it is one of the six titles. So definitely have that, but everything else is green and you should be go good to go. So let's go ahead and move on to XGD3 games. Alright, so right here I have a copy of X-Men Destiny, and this one already has topology data uh, patched in and everything, but let's go ahead and launch that. And I'll show you that it's pretty much the same thing, so we can go ahead and quit out of that. But as you can see, everything is going to be the same on here, it's just all green. We have SSV2, pretty much every uh, XGD3 game is going to have SSV2 since you have to rip them with an 800 drive. But again, topology data is currently verified, and there is a universal topology patch available for all XGD3 games that are all used on here. So as you can see, I mean, I'm using the same settings as I always do on here and everything is fine so this is going to count for everything so you should be good to go on this it's not going to bring up any issues but as long as it says topology data is currently verified your xgd3 games will be good to go and if you want to be extra safe make sure you have an ihas drive that is flashed with burner max firmware so you can get 100 percent burns so as you can see, we're at the end of the tutorial now, and pretty much most of the information you got from XGD2 games is going to just transition over to XGD3. The only thing you need to add on to XGD3 games is topology data. So that's really about it. Anyways, 
that's it. I hope I helped you all out, and this should be everything you need to know for ABGX 360. One last thing, though. If you have a 100% burn of a XGD3 copy, and you want to make a backup of that, you want to make a backup of a backup, you need to rip it using your iHas drive. You can't use a normal drive. You have to use your iHas drive. And also, if you have a copy that is truncated and you need to make a backup from that, you cannot do that because you're going to need another video file that every single video file for every single XGE3 game is different. So you can't do that, in short. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Hope I helped you all out and have fun patching.